<laughs> Little Paul Simon on the road this morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Yukon Bot video on the road again. Some raindrops on the windshield this morning, which is a little bit unusual for me to be heading out with rain. But looking at the radar, it's just a system that's supposed to move through in about the next hour. And it's probably going to take me at least another hour and a half to get to where I'm going. Finally, some calm winds uh, in my area over the next couple of days. So I'm heading a little further away from home. It's about a three hour trip to get to where I'm going today and I'm heading up to the top end of Georgian Bay often called uh, the sixth great lake just because of its size big body of water Georgian Bay it's really part of Lake Huron but uh, because it's so big it gets its own designation so that's where we're heading today up to uh, the top end of Georgian Bay going to put in there and uh, do some sea doing out in those thousands and thousands of uh, granite islands out there. I just love that area and I haven't really been out to Georgian Bay all that much uh, this summer. So taking advantage of a couple of calmer days uh, with uh, the winds and getting out onto Georgian Bay. We'll see you up there shortly and we've got uh, the sea dew as you can see in tow there. We'll be up there in a, probably another hour and a half, two hours and uh, we'll see you up at Georgian Bay. Alrighty guys, I have arrived at uh, the Key River, which is going to be my launch point for uh, today's trip. Taking a few minutes, got all the cameras assembled on uh, the sea -Doo, carrying a little bit more gear today. I'll have the cooler, got the gas tank, and then piggybacking up on top of the gas tank. Just a little carry case with some clothing, some rain gear in case there is any rain. Got the life jacket on board. Got the VHF radio here in case I need that. Uh, bug repellent and then the rest of the gear kind of in there so I haven't seen anybody around here at all I'm kind of backed up loaded ready to, to go in there's got to be some sort of fee to, to park and launch here this is the key river right here this is the Trans Canada Highway right up on top runs right along there this is about a three hour drive to get here from where I am I left at seven o'clock this morning and it's now just about 10 o'clock in the morning so Little ways to get up here. It looks like people are parking up there. There is some parking just over there, which is where I think I'll park. And then I'll see if there's somebody around who wants to uh, take some money. Let's see if it starts. It's been a week at least. Get turned to 360 here. Well, I haven't seen anybody collecting money, so I don't know what the story is here. Maybe you had to go up to the general store or to the gas station, but uh, there's likely to be somebody here when I come back, and uh, if they want money, I will pay. So this is all new country for Yukon Bob. This is the Key River, and the Key River runs right underneath the Trans-Canada Highway, which is right there. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go all the way down the Key River, which is 13 and about a half kilometer, and that will take me out onto the big waters of Georgian Bay. And once I'm out on Georgian Bay, I plan to head on over Georgian Bay, heading northwards up towards the mouth of this thing called the French River, where it enters uh, Georgian Bay from inland. And I plan on seeing if I can run up there a little ways. There's some waterfalls, some rapids to see just what those look like. Because people have told me in the past, you can traverse some of this stuff. But looking on a map, looking on satellite imagery, I don't think you can traverse it with a sea -Doo, But I want to maybe have a look at it. So that's kind of the plan. There's a whole group of islands just outside of Georgian Bay off the entrance to the French River called the Bustard Islands. And I want to go out and have a look at those as well. It's supposed to be very beautiful out there and just check it out. Here's another marina, which is just on the other side of the highway. So there's one on this side of the highway, and then over across the bridge where I am, there's one on the other side of the highway. So I hope I'm not in big trouble by having not paid yet, but we'll see. Truck is all locked up, and we're ready to go. Okay, I've got the chart set up, the Garmin set up. I think I'll just primarily use that today. Everything looks to be pretty secure here on the back. Got a little bit more gear than I normally travel with, but uh, I'm in a little more isolated place today. So I brought a couple of more things along just in case something goes wrong. This is a solo sea do trip for Yukon Bob, and uh, you're on your own now. If something goes wrong out there, you're gonna have to deal with it. And there may not be a lot of other boat traffic around. We'll see when we get out there what that's actually like. But here's what we're looking for today. A lot of this Precambrian Shield rock. This is uh, just the very, beginning of the Key River. It runs straight all the way down that way, like I said, for about 13 and a half kilometers, and then it'll hit the bigger waters of Georgian Bay. So let's go.
Actually, I think I'll just pull over here for a second or two and uh, get a little suntan lotion on the legs and on the face. Hands are pretty much covered today and uh, that'll be okay. So I just want to get a little suntan lotion on because I'm going to be out here a long time today. So let's uh, do that now rather than two hours into the trip. Look at this rock. Isn't this beautiful along here? Kind of pink granite down on the bottom. And then the rock just heads straight up there. All right, we got the lotion on the hands. Let's just rinse off a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's go again. Bunch of wind turbines up ahead here. It's probably a pretty good area for that with all that wind coming off of Georgia Bay a lot of the times. New territory to me. Didn't know these were here. Here's a slide. What you do is you get up to the top there, right up on the top ledge, you get your butt down there, get your legs out in front of you, and you just slide off of there, all the way down, hit the water down below. The trick is to make sure you don't tumble, because if you tumble, you're gonna get severely injured. You'd have to do the straight slide. This is kind of pretty out here. I like this little key river. I've looked out on the map and read a few things about it, so I know it's passable all the way to Georgian Bay. Uh, just a narrow little slit of water that takes you uh, from the Trans-Canada Highway right out to Georgia Bay. But I love the rock all the way along here, these big slabs of granite, all part of the Canadian Shield. And the trees are somewhat a little bit desolate along here. They look like they've all been wind ravaged or maybe there was a fire through here at one point in the past. It does look like they a little bit burnt. I think a number of years ago, I do remember a fire being, a uh, forest fire being along the Key River. So that could have been what happened all the way through here. Burned some of the trees and some were left behind. So this is the end of the Key River. Right out there are the big open waters of uh, Georgian Bay. And we're gonna be making a right up there and heading northbound up towards the Bustard Islands and the entrance to the French River. And there is a little marina here, right at the uh, the exit point, the Key Harbor Lodge. Uh, yeah, you can buy gas there too. It looks like they've got a fuel pump there, so you could get fuel there. That would be if you're really short coming back, because you won't need it coming out, because you've obviously got a full tank coming out. When you get way out onto Georgian Bay, onto the bigger open water, it's like being on an ocean out here. You can't see across to the other side. It's just a big body of water out there. It's probably about 60, 70, 80 kilometers across to the other side. And just up ahead in the distance is the Bustard Islands. Kind of a famous spot where people like to come and boat. You can kind of get in and amongst all the islands. We're gonna go up and take a look. I've never been there. I've heard a lot about it, so I wanna go up and just check it out and see what that might be like for a future camping spot just get back into the bays, look around, and see what they look like. See where there are spots where you can actually camp. But I can see the water here, it kind of gets shallow in places. Like the, the water color is changing, so I'm kind of having to keep an eye on the water depth. Because you're bombing along and all of a sudden there's a big color change in the water and you know it's gotten shallower. Just have to keep an eye on it. Ah, this is beautiful in here. We're in the Bustard Islands now. It's just this whole chain of little islands with little passageways just off the mainland uh, in Georgian Bay. And I'm just gonna explore around it a little bit, see what it looks like back in here. This is a bit of the Bay Area coming to this bay. It looks on the map 
like I might be able to get through there, but it's pretty narrow. We'll go up and see if there is a passageway to get through and over to another set of little islands, but it's just, oh, look at the, look at the water here. The weed's coming right up off the bottom. I bet the fishing is pretty good in here. I didn't bring the fishing rod. I should have brought it just for fooling around a little bit. Probably some great pike in here. Maybe some walleye, some pickerel. But it gets really narrow up here. Can we get through here or not? I don't know. We're going to go up and see. I am not going to push things too much today because I am on my own. And uh, there's a bit of a danger that comes with that. So I'm only going to do what I think I can get away with. It's one of the, the jewels, I think, of Georgian Bay is the Bustard Islands. A lot of people who do a lot of boating on this lake talk about the Bustard Islands and how much they like it. A lot of uh, bigger catamarans or sailboats or power boats will come up and just uh, tie up in here one of these bays and just spend time exploring around these islands. All right, it gets pretty narrow up here. Man, that's like for a canoe. A canoe or a sea -doo. What about depth? Getting shallower, getting shallower. You know what? I'm gonna have to back up. There's a little channel. I'm just touching there, but there is a little channel. Just through here. As long as it doesn't get any shallower. Come on, baby, come on. I gotta get to the side a bit here. Touching a bit. Just over here. Oh, little bump. Through. Wow, that is narrow. Holy smokes. So look, if you were camping back in here, these little bays, there's just a little bit of grass in some of these places where I think you could pull up into and find a little spot to pull the sea dew up on the shore. It's not deep here. But like in there, you could probably get in there and find a flat spot up in there to camp. Over here, even better. And you're really protected from the wind once you get back into these little islands. I mean, you've just got island upon island upon island protecting you from the big waters of Georgia Bay. Like, I think that spot up in there might be a pretty good spot for camping. Just on the point here, there's places to set up a tent. This would be the kind of place where you'd bring your bigger boat in, drop anchor, tie up, and then drop the Zodiac off and bring your Zodiac back in here and just explore all around with the Zodiac. Another great camping spot right up in there. Not much of a place to tie up though. Oh, that'd be a perfect camp spot up in there. Look at the markings on the stone through here. Just gorgeous. Just weaving my way around in between all these little rocks, little ledges underneath the water. Ah, uh, this is beautiful in here. Can I get over it? Come on. God, the last thing I want to do in here is suck up a rock into the impeller and have to try and crawl out of here. That would not be good news because there aren't a lot of boats around back here. You could be stuck back here for a while. But most of these rocks are bigger solid rocks on the bottom. It's not really small stuff. Famous last words.
Whoa, some weeds. Those are not really the dangerous weeds because those ones are attached to the bottom. They're not likely to get sucked up into an impeller. Just go slow, see if we can get through. It's not so much about the width, but about the depth. Boy, that is narrow. Holy smokes. And because it's so narrow, it actually looks like it's a little deeper right here. Well, oh, now it gets shallow. Oh God, yikes. Here's where you can suck up little pebbles too. I wonder, I wonder how slippery these darn rocks are. I wonder if I could pull it through. Oh God, they're slippery. Just to be safe. Oh, Jesus, don't fall down, Bob. I just don't want to see the little pebbles down here. And this is the big rocks I don't worry about so much, but the little pebbles, you could suck those up into the impeller. And if you're alone, that would not be a good thing. So I'm going to see if I can walk the sea dew through here without falling in. It's a bit slippery on the bottom. All these little shells. I wonder if those are zebra mussels. I don't know. I just got to get up to there and I should be okay. Easy. Kind of about waist deep. Yeah, it's just this little place right here. Once I'm over here, I think I'll be okay. Whoa! No deeper. It's deep enough. I'll set this down for a sec. Made it. Okay, it's a little deeper here. And so far, I'm alone out here. I haven't seen another boat. It would be nice actually to see another boat somewhere. I think this would be a pretty good place to put the drone up in the air and just get some, some aerial shots of the Bustard Islands and see what it looks like from, from the air. DJI Mavic Air 2S, ready to fly. Take off. Damn it, the sea dew's drifted away while I was filming the drone. It's over there, I didn't have it tied up. I'm gonna have to swim over and get it. Shh. 
shit. That's not good. Okay, I've got to put the camera down on all this stuff. i got to swim over and retrieve it. <laughs> too, too busy filming droning. The sea dew floated away. Oh my gosh. Had to swim over to get it, but I got it. Was never going to go all that far away, but still the fact that it drifted away while I was videotaping. Ah. First bit of excitement on the trip. That was pretty sneaky of you, Sea Dew, just to, while well, I got my attention focused on something else, slowly drift out and over to there on the other side over there. Good thing it wasn't a bigger body of water with wind blowing where I couldn't swim to it. But I knew it wasn't going to go far even if it drifted here. There's just no place to tie the rope to here. It's just all rock. Oh well, got it back. And just off of there a bit. Back out of here. Well, that was a little adventure. I think we got some nice drone shots. Just about lost the sea dew though. No, we didn't. It just drifted a little ways away, just took a little bit of a swim to go get it. The water wasn't even that cold, and I could have used a little bit of a cooling down too, so that was good. All right, let's go explore a little bit more around these islands, see what else we can see. Well, yes, there is more that I want to show you, but I'm just looking at the time on this thing, and this video is starting to get a little bit long, so I am going to cut it here, guys, and I'm going to show you more next week of the Bustard Islands, and then I'm going to head over to the mainland, the French River, that historic Voyager route. I want to take you up and show you what the rapids look like up there. There's a lot more to show you, and this is just starting to get a little long, so I'm going to break this video up into two parts. Next week, a continuation of the Bustard Islands, Islands, Georgian Bay, and the French River. So we'll see you next week on the Yukon Bob Sea-Doo channel. Till then, stay safe on the water. More coming up of the Bustard Islands and Georgian Bay next week. We'll see you then.